The, yeah. the Lighthouse Midsummer, Marriage Story, The Irishman, Dark Waters. That was New York Times. Yeah, yeah that was. <laughs> what was your favorite film to work on in post out of those? Marriage Story for sure, because I think, well, that was my first job in New York. So I was a junior role, but Marriage Story was the one where I like was the full conform artist and assistant colorist. So I had way more attachment to it and like control or responsibility towards it. And Noah Baumbach, director. I mean, I have never, I've been, I've worked with lots of big directors and like Noah was just the one who was so casual and he would sit next to me every day and want to be there you have a lot of directors who like just kind of come in when they want they don't really care about post they have Mm. their producers kind of fix it or figure it out but Noah wanted to be there every detail sat next to me wanted to see every version of the vfx everything so involved and Mm. wanted like knew his film so well and it was some it was a great film to work on and it was it's a beautiful film isn't really nice yeah Yeah. amazing acting that scene with Scarlett and Adam like I think I've seen it about 60 times <laughs> like the, just that one scene I would yeah. just watch it like if I had on my lunch break yeah yeah because it was just yeah, two was good. lambs for example mm-hmm. so the editor for that was Mike McKay amazing like legend and so when Sir Anthony Hopkins like uh, does the that bit <laughs> yeah. so that was just him like mucking around that was an off take and the editor chose to put that in oh, no and showed way. it and the director was like oh no like what the hell is that like that was just like him like, mm. fucking around yeah and they're like no no like trust me and it's like literally like the biggest thing that's happened in science of the lambs yeah, like everybody like, knows wow. that it was the editor's choice that's to do crazy. that that's cool. yeah. and it made it like so many little things like that mm. in editing i don't know just like make the film like much better that yeah. is such a fun fact that's and also creating beats also in a mm. film like when editing like euphoria is a good example i think of like the beats of where the editing and the cuts are happening with each scenario that's happening it's making you catch on and you're caught in streaming services are great because it's making me a lot of jobs which is great it's putting a lot of content out there but then it's pressure to put content out there all the time yeah and that's why also there's the writers like strike strike happening because they're pressured to do so much content because we are all in need of stuff right now. Mm. And Netflix is one of the biggest streaming platforms that is just trying to get so much out there. And sometimes, you know, you just like get back to the story, you know, yeah. like let's quality, what quality, quality, quality yeah, quality, quality yeah. exactly. Yeah, like I, let's look at like, you know, the details. And I just yeah. felt like the Irishman was. You know, just a Netflix kind of. You could tell also Netflix. It was Netflixy. Like yeah. I can say that. There's a lot of stuff that was happening that wasn't Scorsese, and it was very mm. Netflix. Nice. Wait, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't understand. Like my phone case is like you know. Oh, like, <laughs> that's so cool. Like there will be blood. Is, we love that Great movie. Film. Is amazing. Yeah. I've, I've fantastic. My child. <laughs> <laughs> so amazing. Like it's so powerful. Daniel Day Lewis again, like icon, amazing. And he's a king. He's a king. He's so good. He's amazing. Mm. Tough man, though, I will say. Like, I would personally, I think who he is as a person to go into character, mm. like, he goes further than method acting. Like, he goes crazy. Like, for Gangs of New York, have mm-hmm. you seen that one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, he, the way he, like, set up for that, he listened to Eminem all day, every day, just to get in that angry butcher mode. Like, he <laughs> thanks Eminem when he won, like, the award. He's like, thank you, Eminem. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> just to get him in the mood. For The Crucible, when he did that, like, he went to a lodge and just, like, built. He didn't shower he smelled for a year and just like was building his lodge being in that era mm-hmm. for the crucible his method acting Good goes time, i think with something where they found their rhythm or their yeah, theme yeah, or what they want and rob pattinson as well so good really just proving why he's one of the best actors living so good today. Yeah. and so, so good. many people such a good i've said this point. before on yep. the podcast so many times i don't know but i'm gonna say it again <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah when i say something like oh i love rob pattinson as an actor and they go who the twilight guy oh no Fuck oh man. my god i want, I want to shoot that person yeah, yeah. <laughs> like 100%. seriously you can't say that no. and it's He's, really really mm. hard because when people ask me like what is the the best actors right now of our generation who are in their 30s mm. if you think about it i'm thinking best actors ever you know robert de niro paul newman marlon mm. brando those boys you know are like 70 some are dead now yeah, those yeah, are dead. the best <laughs> actors ever that i can recall mm. but right now of our generation who's in their 30s robert pattinson and- <laughs>